Hello, my name is Jacqueline Mullaney. I'm a fiber artist. My studio is in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And I am going to demonstrate a class called Shaping Space with Flax Fiber, where we create a fiber paper and apply it to a form and allow it to dry, creating a sculptural piece. So this, I'm demonstrating how to create flax paper by um, pulling the fiber with my fingers across the screen and then I'm going to be laying it out on a grid then fuse it with a diluted solution of PVA glue. Method, uh, it's called um, polyvinyl acetate. It's an acid-free glue. It's used for paper making and um, book art. Now I'm laying the fiber over the first row, halfway over, halfway from the top, so that they are overlapping. Each, each row will overlap the next. This process is very meditative. It's a slow kind of methodical movement back and forth laying the fiber down on the screen. So now we'll go across, do creating a, like a warp and weft if you were weaving. And this is um, strengthening the fiber and allowing it to fuse together. So we'll go in the cross direction from the first layer. So this is flax, um, bleached flax roving that I've done two layers of the natural. Now I'm gonna go in the opposite direction again and apply some of the bleached, the white flax over those first two layers, again in the opposite direction from the previous row or the lay previous layer. And I'll do this back and forth a few times just to get so that the color comes through and you can see the contrast of the two fibers. And then um, the next step is that I'll add possibly some thread or color to make it a little more interesting. I could add paper, I could add plant material between the layers to give it a little more texture and color. And then I think I'm gonna add a little thread, because thread is always fun. Add a little, this is just cotton thread. It's always nice to add a little color. So this I think is, we're gonna do a, more of a collage with this piece than a, than a sculpture. But it, but it could be um, applied over a form and dry so that it is, is three-dimensional. I'm gonna sandwich this thread between another layer of the white flax, and I'm just gonna pretty much just go over the thread itself give, so that it fuses into the paper. Dyed bamboo roving that I'm going to use to add a little color to the collage. And I'm going to lay it down like I would with the flax in small increments, just to give it a little interest. And I'm using this green to kind of work com that's compatible with that lighter green. So I'm going to fuse this fiber together between window screen with a sponge. This is very similar to a felting technique, but it's without the agitation and much less labor intensive. So I'm sponging the glue solution into the layers of fiber to fuse them together. So I'm spreading the glue solution across the surface of the screen, kind of blotting some of the excess. 
And then I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side to make sure that all the layers are well saturated. I am blotting some of the excess glue um, because there's a lot of water and fluid in the cut between the screen. And it makes it easier for removing the screen if I blot some of it up first. I'm removing the screen now. And adjusting the fiber away from sticking to the screen. And I'm going to adjust these little threads because they got caught up in the fold. So now I'm going to remove the paper from the screen and then it's ready for um, applying to a form or allowing it to be just a um, collage on its own. It's beautiful with the light shining through it. So I have my inflated balloon that I'm going to use as a form to apply the paper to. So I'm going to use one corner and I'm going to roll the balloon around so it attaches to the balloon, to the form. And then I'm going to gently begin to shape it over this form and let it dry and then I will remove the balloon when the paper is dry. And I'm working with the little pleats and smoothing them out to get a consistency the shape. I'm tugging a little bit. You can see the fiber I'm moving with my fingers. And now I'm going to use my brush and the glue to smooth out the fiber over the form and saturating the pleats so they lie flat and going around the whole form with the glue solution and the brush And I like these threads becoming part of the form and they get also saturated with the glue solution so that when they dry they're stiff and they're part of the piece. So now that it's finished, I'm going to let it dry. It will take a few hours and then I will remove the form from, I'll remove the paper from the balloon, gently um, releasing the air, and this would be the finished product.